um, Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo passes on. It is a statement from Safaricom. Safaricom. This is the breaking news reaching our newsroom that um, the Chief Executive Office of Safaricom Limited has passed on. It is with deep sorrow that we announce the mm. passing away of uh, Robert William Colimo, CEO of Safaricom PLC, which occurred at his home in the mm. morning of 1st of July 2019. The statement goes on to say in October 2017, Bob proceeded to the UK to receive treatment of acute le uh, leukemia and returned in July 2018 to resume duties. He has been undergoing treatment for this condition since then in different hospitals and most recently at Aga Khan University Hospital in Nairobi. And in recent weeks, his uh, condition worsened and uh, he succumbed to the cancer at uh, his home in the early hours of Monday, 1st of July 2019. Mm -hmm. Bob Colimo leaves behind a wife and four children. And on behalf of the board of Safaricom PLC, we extend our deepest condolences to his family, staff of Safaricom PLC, uh, partners and the nation at large who he served selflessly and with joy. That's a statement from Nicholas Nganga, the chairman of Safaricom Limited. Right. Again, in case you're just tuning in, Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo has passed on. Let me get a chance here. The, the, uh, maybe, I, I, I won't go do first, of all, first of all uh, reflect on um, yes, the that's what I'm doing. of, uh, of that's what I'm doing. Go so ahead. I just wanted also to pass my condolences to the family and also to the Safaricom as a company and also to the country. It's a big loss for all of us. And he, he had come out and fought courageously, only that it is a kind of a strain that is difficult to, to reverse. Indeed. Yeah, I will take the same opportunity to pass my condolences and, uh, of course, also on behalf of the party uh, to uh, the family of Bob Colimo, the wife and the kids, and the entire family at Safaricom. Uh, we just pray that uh, they get strength during this difficult period and may God rest his soul in peace. Right. Uh, I will also, on behalf of the people of Nandi, and uh, to pass my deepest condolences to the Safaricom Fraternity, the family of uh, Bob Colimo, and wish them le well, and may God Almighty continue to give them st strength during this time of uh, mourning. I also want to join my colleagues, sending condolences to the family of late Safaricom CEO and his family. Uh, as a Muslim, I believe every soul shall test death. It is God uh, actually who decides what happens. But it also is the right time that uh, we seriously invest in uh, our medical facilities so that this rampant cancer cases actually can get uh, uh, long-term uh, medical attention from not only in India and the UK and the US but also from our local hospitals because right now is, is one thing that has really affected the lives of many uh, people in Kenya here. Indeed, of course, if you're joining us now, it is the breaking news this morning that uh, Safaricom CEO Bob Colimo has passed on, of course, after um, suffering, he's been suffering from acute, acute leukemia. myeloid leukemia and returned in July 2018 after attending treatment in the UK at resume his duties. And he has been undergoing treatment for his condition since then in different hospitals and most recently at Aga Khan University Hospital in Nairobi. And in recent weeks, his condition worsened and he succumbed to the cancer at his home early this morning. Bob Colimo leaves behind his wife and four children. Of course, this is coming um, from a statement by Nicholas Nganga, who is the chairman for Safaricom PLC. News that we're just receiving this morning, the passing away of CEO of Safaricom PLC, Robert William Colimo.